Frequently adjusting the brightness of an external monitor is cumbersome. Often the monitor's buttons are hard to reach, the menu is cluttered and settings are buried in submenus. But there actually is a way to control settings like brightness, volume and pretty much everything else with a piece of software that installs on your Windows computer. I'll show you how I've set up this software called Click Monitor DDC for easy and quick brightness control with keyboard and mouse shortcuts. Before I walk you through the setup process, let me show you what we want to achieve with this software. Now, in the taskbar, there's this little number that indicates the current brightness setting of the connected monitor. Hovering the mouse over this number while turning the scroll wheel up or down easily changes the brightness. Middle clicking on this number quickly toggles between pre-configured brightness values. We can also left click to open up a little menu that provides a brightness slider. When the taskbar isn't visible like in full screen applications, I can hold down the Windows key plus Alt so that turning the scroll wheel changes the brightness without hovering over the taskbar icon. Using keyboard shortcuts without any scrolling is possible as well. I configured Ctrl plus 2 F keys to change the brightness up or down. All of this is of course fully customizable, so you can choose totally different shortcuts than me. Alright, let's get into the configuration. First, we of course need to download Click Monitor DDC. For that you will find the download link in the description down below. There is a portable version available as well as the usual setup version that does all the installation for you. Choose whichever you prefer. After going through the usual installation process, we can spot a few new colorful icons in our taskbar. Clicking on one of those opens up a settings dialog. Here we can already control the monitor's brightness by dragging the pink slider up or down. But it's not exactly a clean interface, so let's first declutter this a bit. To the left we have our color balance, color profile and input selection. This usually are set and forget settings that don't need to be changed on a regular basis. Hence we can hide them by unchecking color audio input. This leaves us with three sliders for brightness, contrast and volume. The volume slider controls the windows volume instead of controlling the volume of the monitor's inbuilt speakers. So I like to hide the volume slider as well as there already is such slider provided by windows. Unfortunately, there is no way to get rid of the contrast slider, but this already looks much better. Still, there are many icons in our taskbar that we don't need. Unchecking V icon gets rid of the volume control icon. Further customization can be done from the menu. This opens up by clicking on the little square in the top left corner. Now at the bottom of this dialog we can choose which icon we like to show or hide. This can even be configured per monitor for multi-monitor setups. I've just one monitor connected, additional monitors would show up below. I like to keep only the brightness icon, but if you like to control your monitor's speakers, you can select the speaker checkbox as well. This setting will control the speaker volume directly rather than just the windows volume. Let's keep this for now. For a cleaner look, we can choose a different font for the icons. I found Sigoe UI with clear type to be the most subtle. Above we can also change the colors of the icons and sliders. You can of course go wild here, but I go with white for the brightness icon and a grey slider. Don't forget to apply the settings. Now this looks pretty clean in my opinion. By default we can hover over the icons and change the settings by either scrolling up or down with the mouse wheel. This can of course be customized as well. In the Manage Mouse under menu we can change the increments for every click of the mouse wheel. So turn that down for more gradual control or up to change settings faster. I'll go with steps of 5 for the brightness control. What I find extremely handy is the customizable toggle option. This allows to change between two predefined values by clicking on the respective icon with the mouse wheel. I frequently change between a brightness setting of 23 during daylight and the dimmest possible setting at night so I type in 0 and 23. Now we can also configure a key combination that will allow us to use the mouse wheel scrolling without hovering over the icon. Let's say we want to hold Alt plus Windows and scroll up to turn up the brightness 5 points with every wheel click. So we select Alt plus Windows and forwards. The corresponding command is B for brightness and then plus 5 to add 5 points to the current brightness setting. Respectively, we select backwards and type in B-5 to turn down the brightness 5 steps when holding Alt plus Windows while scrolling down. 
This comes in pretty handy in games or other full screen applications that don't show the taskbar. Just make sure to choose a key combination that doesn't interfere with existing shortcuts or anything you might be doing in game. Like sprinting with shift while changing weapons with the mouse wheel. Everything that is scrollable, like a web page or document, will of course scroll up or down while changing settings. Keep that in mind. So, for this reason, I actually prefer to use keyboard shortcuts without the mouse wheel most of the time. Those can be customized in the Manage Hotkeys menu. First, make sure that Activate Hotkeys in the top left corner is checked. Now, select an empty box and hold your desired key combination on your keyboard. Now, the required commands are essentially the same as with the mouse shortcut configuration. So, if we want to turn down the brightness with Ctrl plus F5, let's say 5 steps, we type in B minus 5. Let's make Ctrl plus F6 raising the brightness by 5 steps with B plus 5 accordingly. You can of course choose entirely different keyboard shortcuts or brightness increments here. If you like to control the monitor's inbuilt speakers, you can do that too with the command O instead of B. Like O plus 10 to turn up the volume 10 steps. Another useful command is X. This will send all connected monitors to sleep. I make that Ctrl plus F1. There are many more useful commands and it's even possible to assign multiple commands to just one shortcut. If you have multiple monitors connected, you can also assign commands to only a specific monitor by addressing it by its name. Just like this would modify the sleep command to only send my Acer VG270UP to sleep if I had more monitors connected. Things can get even more complex when you combine different commands for different monitors into a single shortcut. This will clearly go beyond the scope of this video, but you will find a link to ClickMonitor DDC's website in the description that supports the full list of possible commands. Now ClickMonitor DDC is a great and powerful tool which is heavily customizable. I really only scratched the surface here and there's much more you can do with this, like automating setting changes based on time or the application that is running. The program should also work with pretty much every monitor. At least it works with every single monitor that I've reviewed so far. So let me know what you think of this program. Thanks for watching and consider to subscribe.